Welcome back to Tibra's Den and welcome to another speed build. Today we are doing the Club P3 from Charmed. This is loosely based on the club. I did not try to make it look like the club whatsoever other than a tiny bit in the entrance way. Um, I just... I took inspiration from the club and that's what we're creating obviously but I learned from trying to do the house that I'm just not good at trying to do like an exact replica or anything like that so I decided for the club I wasn't even going to try and then there is a little bonus peek at the end of the video uh, why I was doing screenshots and everything else Piper actually went into labor with Chris and so I included a little bit of that of her having Chris and yeah so now she has baby Chris and of course uh, Wyatt is a toddler as well so um, but yeah this is what we're creating here and so I knew I wanted like something on the top but I remember from watching the show it was kind of underground I remember them having to go you know up stairways to get out um, and so I wanted to kind of replicate that aspect a little bit. And so I decided upstairs would be like bathrooms and such. And then you go downstairs for the main club. And then there's like a uh, office and, um, like a little storage area. And then of course the, the main club part, I did two platforms. I did one for like the stage. So where the singers would be. Um, that was one of my favorite parts of the show. They always had, like, the, the bands that would come on, you know, the popular bands of the time. I miss that in shows, you know. I definitely love that aspect of the 90s shows, you know, because a lot of TV shows did that, where they would have, like, popular singers or bands come on, and that was one of my favorite parts of the 90, 90s and the, the shows that did that so um I definitely knew I wanted a stage for like singers and then I did like the uh, you'll see I don't remember what it's called but like the little box where they can go and and sing or whatever and then I did like a microphone and a keyboard and such so I really like that I wanted to use this door I actually ended up having to change that because they couldn't get in. Um, I knew you could set fame requirements for this door, but I didn't know you had to set fame requirements. Uh, and it wouldn't let me do zero fame requirements. The lowest you could go was one star. And I was a little bit frustrated by that because I definitely wanted this door. And I know, you know, some of the episodes she had like a little bouncer because the one where they switch, she uh, Piper couldn't get in because she had the face of somebody else. And so I wanted that door but unfortunately it didn't work out and so I had to change that there was a couple things I had to change I actually ended up doing like a little patio off to the right there which I didn't originally do because for some reason over the platform on that side just that side the other side was fine it was just an open hole and I, was like, and I wasn't entirely sure how to fix it with the grass and so I ended up just putting, you know, uh, a thing down and just putting brick on it because I was like, I'm not really sure how to fix this. Um, but yeah, I didn't even notice that until I went in to go play and then it was like, there's this huge hole. They could just jump down into the club if they wanted to, which was a little bit frustrating. Uh, so I did change that a little bit and then there was something else I had to fix while I was in there. Oh yeah, um, we'll get to that, the platform, because I did like a VIP platform too, which you'll see, but I ended up having to um, add another couch in there, just because there wasn't enough seating for the, the main crew, so I had to add a little bit to that as well. Uh, so I went very light colors on this, I hadn't intended that initially, I wanted kind of like a dark vibe, but it turned out being very light. Uh, in color, and I actually changed the the brick you see there in the middle. I didn't like how it was looking, and so it's all very similar in style. Um, I do go with a brick though, but yeah, you have like a little entryway, and then I put like a bunch of ottomans down so people can sit. I put that one in the front entryway, and then I put one of those in each bathroom, and then for the main 
middle part there in between the bathrooms, I put more like cozy Ottoman vibes um, so people can hang out and be comfy as they're waiting for the bathroom. Um, and yeah, and then for the floor, I did this tile up here and then I did um, this one down here. You'll, <laughs> well, you'll see it in a second. And I had a lot of trouble. I wanted to put stairs, but it kept clipping because originally I put like a half wall. Uh, and so I thought I would need stairs, but it kept like, there was like a big black shadow you'll see here in a second kind of like how there is a shadow in front of the platform there it was doing that with the stairs too and so I ended up not being able to use stairs so I didn't do a half wall because yeah you can see there there's just like a, a shadow and I'm not sure why that was doing that um, something with the basement and the platform I guess so I just did a half wall or the platform trim and hopefully they'll be able to step onto it I didn't actually play test that because Piper ended up going into labor so um, I ended up not being able to play test that but these are the bathrooms pretty straightforward I just used the stalls from university um, I could have made my own stalls, but I was feeling kind of lazy, and so I just used those stalls, and then, you know, you just have some sinks, which I just used the counters, and then the sinks that go into the counters, uh, I just like that feel a little bit better for this bathroom, um, and so it was, you know, kind of a struggle deciding which counter to use, but I went with these ones here, and then I like these sinks here, uh, just mirrors, I mean, it's your basic bathroom, um, <laughs> I guess you guys don't need a, a walkthrough of a basic bathroom, but, uh, yeah, that's, that's my little bathroom, and then, of course, you have to have the, the hand sanitizer thing, which I always put up as soap, and then, you know, of course, the paper towel, um, things as well, and I ended up moving that single trash can, I removed that and put the ottoman, so that's where I ended up putting the ottoman in both the bathrooms, because I just didn't like ha having the trash can over there, uh, and so there's just the two trash cans right by the door as you're exiting, you know, you wash your hands, grab the paper towels, and, and whatnot as, as you exit the bathroom, so, um, but yeah, pretty, pretty basic, and then I went with this for the, like I said, the little middle area, just a bunch of ottomans, and then I put some accent tables about and just put a bunch of plants on them. Uh, like I said, I was not, I didn't feel like looking up and seeing pictures from the club, and I couldn't quite remember, you know, all the aspects of the club. I remember it was more dark and, and dim than it was light colors like this. Uh, and I remember, you know, you went downstairs, but past that, I can't recall what the club looked like exactly. And so that's why I ended up going this route, just kind of doing my own thing and just kind of drawing inspiration a little bit from their club. And I put that little guitar up because, like I said, there is music, you know, live music often. And so I put that guitar and then just some plants. So nothing too fancy up here, you know, pretty, pretty basic uh, just a little seating area and bathroom area as people are waiting to go in. So now we're getting down to the actual club part. And so I have that little back area, like I said, is going to be storage and an office. And so I put the, the little hallway right next to the stairs so I didn't have to worry about railings or anything like that. Uh, and then they just kind of walk back and then I do put a platform over here for the little VIP area, which I like, um, and yeah, I really wish you could, like, how you can have, like, a retail store, veterinary clinic, um, uh, I wish you could buy, or a restaurant, I wish you could have a club, too, because uh, that way Piper could actually own this, and then this would be, like, their little area, um, you know, I wish, not necessarily to play like you do the others, so, like, you can't go in and play, but I wish you could assign ownership, and so maybe your Sims would go, you know, if you go to this club, you're likely to see those specific Sims there, because that would have been really, really nice for this build, since it is inspired by P3, um, you know, I would have liked that anytime I go to this club, you're going to see Piper and, and them there, and, like, the little VIP area is kind of their domain so you can lock the doors because you can't lock the doors or anything and so you'll see in the screenshot I have my uh air sim I think his name is Stormy I already forgot because I had Breezy and Stormy and Breezy's the female 
And so, yeah, Stormy goes in and is, you know, on the computer. And you have no way to lock the door. And so I think it would have been nice, you know, to lock the door for everybody but the owner. Uh, and that way, as you're playing, you know, certain areas are off limits. Or just lock the door in general. That would have been nice. But having somebody that can own the club would have been a nice touch for sure. Um, and I don't know how complicated it would be to do that. But, you know, just just a thought, you know, because you can buy a, and be an owner of the restaurant and such. But you can't do that for the club. Um, but, yeah, I knew I wanted to go with the round ones from Batu since... Obviously, in the actual show, the the bar is in the middle and it goes all the way around. I couldn't do that here. I didn't have enough room, but I at least wanted the round bar. And so I just tucked it away over here and just had it kind of against the wall there. But you still have at least the, the roundness there, which, which I like. Uh, and then I put like a little waterfall behind it, which I do that towards the end. And so this is my stage area. I'm not sure if it's functional, like I said, because Piper went into labor before I could play test it. Uh, but I have that little, you know what you like busking station there uh, and then I just put a couple guitars the keyboard and a microphone nothing nothing too over the top again but definitely you know a little performers area for sure and then you know if they don't have live music they obviously have the speakers and then the dance floors uh, and I'm really bummed I actually had to change these tables because one of the requirements is dining chairs well, with these specific tables, you have to use the tall bar stools. There aren't any dining chairs that I know of or that I could find that would clip to these tables. So you have to use the tall bar stools, which don't count as dining chairs. So I actually had to get lower tables and dining chairs so I could meet the requirements for the nightclub which was really, really frustrating because I really liked those tables and I was kind of bummed out that I couldn't keep them. But, you know, it is what it is. You have to make some sacrifices sometimes. Uh, the game's far from perfect, which everybody will agree with that. Uh, and yeah, this is the office. Again, very light color theme. I don't know why I went with such a light color theme. That's obviously not true to kind of the show or anything like that. Um, or the aesthetic, but it's just kind of what I was feeling, I guess, while I was building this. And so that's what I ended up going with. And then in here is the little storage area. So I put down a bunch of, like, paperwork and files and such. Uh, I thought that would be kind of a, a nice touch. And then I, of course, put, you know, like, drink storage. I actually found, like, a bar back that looked really good in here. Uh, and then, like, the little... Um, like wine cellar type things uh, which I've used before in builds so I knew they would work perfectly in here these things right here uh, and I was going to make those go all the way around but then I found that little bar back and I liked it better and so I ended up deleting the ones I just have those along the back wall and then the ones on the side walls I ended up deleting and putting this bar back here I really liked how it looked and so that's what I ended up going with. And yeah, just pretty, you know, nothing, nothing too crazy. I didn't go really, really crazy in here. And so this is where I ended up having to change the tables, which really bummed me out because I really liked the circular, circular tables a lot better than these square ones. But I do like the square ones as well. Like they're not horrible by any means. I just like the other ones a little bit better. Um, and so, yeah, I have some of those... Um, what are they called? Like scent candles, you know, that you can light for specific moods. And so I put some of those in here and I kind of put those along the back. So maybe if somebody's having a date or anything like that. And now we are on to Piper in labor. Uh, like I said, I was just taking screenshots and I was like, oh, shoot. <laughs> like, why is she uncomfortable? And uh, we had to rush to get Chris born. I want him born in the hospital. I couldn't remember because I think, I know, I think with Wyatt, she was determined to have him in a hospital. 
And then she ended up having him at home. And then with Chris, she was like, we're not going to a hospital at all. I can't really remember. Uh, I know, like, at one point she wanted a hospital, and at another point she was dead set against it. But I like the birth certificates, and so I had them go to the hospital for for Chris. Um, yeah, I think it was Chris that she didn't want to go to the hospital. And then that was the episode where they were like, the world got skewed. <laughs> and so she ended up at a hospital because they were like freaking out. Um, cause she almost died and the, the doctor was like, oh, it's fine. And they were like, no, it's not. Um, so yeah, that was that episode I remember. And so I think that's the one where she didn't want to go to the hospital, but she ended up going to the hospital. And so yeah, that's, that's a little Chris being born and Leo panicking, of course. <laughs> I love, I love the interactions. It's funny cause my, there was an old lady in the shoe challenge Selena always is playful and like doing duck moves and she she panics like a few times but for the most part she's just being playful um, but I'm gonna go ahead and leave you guys here we're just at the screenshots now let me know what you think like I said it wasn't fully based on p3 obviously the aesthetic is extremely different but definitely let me know what you think of this club and we will see you guys next week bye